Lesson number one. Now what? You should watch this movie before the ukuleles are handed out. It'll tell you what to do while the teacher hands out the ukuleles to the rest of the class. Most important, do not touch the tuning pegs at the top of your ukulele. If you do, your ukulele will be out of tune and sound terrible. Now here's how to hold your uke. Take a look closely at the pictures. You're going to hold your ukulele flat against your stomach with the neck and tuning pegs facing towards your left. The red sticker should be closest to the floor. Your left hand should approach the colored dots on an angle. Your right hand will hold the pick for strumming. Most beginners find using a felt pick to be the easiest. And if you're left-handed, you will still play the same way as the rest of the class. Just the first few lessons might be easier for you. Now here's a handy hint to keep your uke from falling out of your arms. Use pressure from the inside of your lower right arm to hold the uke to your body. If done properly, your uke should not be resting on your legs when sitting down. To strum, do not bend your arm at the elbow. Instead, twist your wrist so that it feels like you're flicking water off of your fingertips. Now here's the proper finger position. Your thumb goes at the back, so it's hidden from view, and your fingers are pushed onto the strings. You want to have the strings near the tip of your fingers. You need to have a nice arch in your finger, like this, and it's the pressure of squeezing your thumb and that finger on the one string squeezed really tight, which is what's going to give a nice vibration and a beautiful sound to your string. If you're not squeezing tight enough, it's not going to sound nice. Now make sure you've got that good arch in the finger and it's not touching the string underneath because then that too will change the sound of your chord. When you strum, you want to strum where the neck meets the body and that's right there going to give you a beautiful sound. Do not strum down by the sound hole or below it. Guitar players do that, but the guitar has a much bigger body and so it needs to be strummed by the hole. The ukulele is a small instrument and you get the best sound when you strum at the top. Now it's almost time to hand out the ukuleles. As your teacher hands out the ukuleles and felt picks, sit down and experiment with your ukulele. Put one or two fingers down on a colored dot to see how the sound changes. Put them anywhere on the strings. Photos on the next slide will help you to remember what to do with your fingers. Use your felt pick to rub or strum the strings in a downward motion, twisting at your wrist and not at your elbow. So your teacher will want to freeze the screen here while the ukes are being handed out so that you can practice. Good luck.